Hello there, I'm Felicity Barr with the top stories on Al Jazeera. Abdel Fattah el-Sisi is Egypt's newly elected president. He received nearly 97% of the vote. Hamdine Sabahi was the only candidate running against el-Sisi. Carol Kirsten is a senior lecturer in the study of Islam and the Muslim world at King's College here in London. There was great disillusionment among uh, the Egyptian population in the chain of events basically since 2011 with high hopes of democratic reforms, then an incompetent president, military interference, and now it's almost back business as usual for the past few decades. So I think El Sisi is a kind of concerned probably about the exact legitimacy he has in, uh, in winning an election with a huge majority but with a very low turnout. Polling stations have stayed open late in the Syrian election to cope with high voter turnout. People are being asked to choose their next president while fighting in the three-year civil war continues. Syria's main opposition is dismissing the vote as a sham, with Bashar al-Assad widely expected to stay in power. There's been further fighting in eastern Ukraine, with dozens of people seeking refuge in makeshift underground shelters. Eight Ukrainian border guards were injured in the latest violence. Meanwhile, NATO has confirmed it's planning to bolster its military presence in parts of Eastern Europe, the Baltics and the Black Sea. Don't forget you can always watch Al Jazeera online. Go to our website, aljazeera.com, and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines. I'm Felicity Barr. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.